go here to Camtasia. So this is Camtasia. I'm going to click this. Okay, we got just this motion going on here. All right. All right, I'm going to just kind of hack this together real quick, and then we'll make a couple of points, and we'll see if we can't learn something along the old way here. So here's, uh, I think here's what we're going to do. Let's delete this stuff. Boom. Okay, so here is the image that I want to create this parallax zoom effect. And when I say parallax zoom, let's think about what happens here. You notice that the, the things kind of zoom in only in layers, right? In circles. But once they get all the way in, okay, after all these animations are done, essentially, I am zoomed in to this. Okay, if we go to the beginning, okay, that's that. Boom, and that is zoomed. So that's why I call this kind of the, the zoom, parallax zoom effect. Okay, so I'll put my media here, right? There's my starting point. I am going to go to annotations. I am going to go to shapes. I am going to go to all. And let's grab a circle. Not the funky oval thing, the useless oval thing. So let's grab this and let's drop it on the timeline. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'll stretch it out to last the same amount of time here. And then let's do this. Let's put it in the middle. Okay, snap it up uh, into the middle. Right. And then for this first one, I'm going to press and hold my shift and control keys. Okay, when you do that, when I make this bigger, which is what I'm going to do, it's going to make it all bigger from the center. Okay, let me show you the difference. If I just grab this and make it bigger, okay, see how it it's going up and to the right? I do not want that. And for this trick to work properly, uh, let's make sure I'm centered up again, control, shift, and now when I make it bigger, watch what happens. It gets bigger from the center out, doesn't it? Okay, so let's make it as big. Let's make it big. Our first layer here is going to be big. It's going to be a big guy. It's going to cover the whole thingy here. Okay, now let's see. What do we need to do next? Uh, well, I think next... What we kind of need is we need to make this a media mat. So I'm going to right click on it on the canvas and I'm going to say make this a media mat. And when I do that, it's going to be an alpha mat, right? Which means that anything under the shape is going to show through, isn't it? Okay, so what I have under the shape here is my image and the shape. Remember, we had it cover the entire screen. Right, switch that off for a second, right? Okay, so that's basically how that's going to work. All right, so now let's try this. Let's take these two things, select them both. I'm going to right click and I'm going to group. Now, let's remember what kind of happened before in the PowerPoint version, if we go to the animation pane, I'm going to click on an animation here and the effect options. And basically, all this animation does is an emphasize. It's grow and shrink. Well, it's growing to 130% of the size and it's doing it kind of in a nice slow fashion with some smooth starts and some smooth ends, stuff like that. Okay, so uh, basically six seconds if you add these together. Or, let's see, I should be able to see that here also. So the animation is six seconds. Six seconds grows 130%. Okay, well, I can do that. Let's put our playhead in and let's drop a keyframe. Okay, shift A, right? And here, at this point, what I want to do is I want to change the properties. And I want to scale it to 130%. 130. 
Boom. Okay, what did that buy me? So let's I'm gonna put this towards the beginning a little bit. Uh, and let's make it last a little bit of time. Maybe not quite six seconds, but here's what's going to happen. It is going to just kind of slowly grow to 130%, right? Okay, cool. I like it. <laughs> so now let's kind of monkey with this a little bit more and get some of this parallax action going. So this is essentially what? Just a regular zoom, isn't it? Let's click on my group here. Control C. Put the plate at the beginning and control V. So now I got myself another group. Identical, right? And I'm going to have this one start. Let's stretch this out. Uh, but the secret here is I'm going to put my playhead before our animation. And I want to stagger these. And you'll see why in just a second. So first of all, let's make that happen. And then I want to make sure my playhead is here before the zoom animation or the scale animation. Now let's open up the group. Let's click on the shape. And I'll zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to hold my control shift. And let's bring this guy down a bit. Maybe to something like that. Right? Close the group. Let's scale that to fit. And let's see what happens. So the outside is growing. Oh, and then the inner one starts to grow a little bit. Okay, we're kind of getting there. Let's do this. Let's click on our group. I'm going to click on this one because it's the smaller circle. You'll see why in a second. Control C, er, Control V. Let's stagger the uh, animation out a little bit. And I can fine tune all this later. Uh, make sure the playhead is before the animation starts. Open the group. Click on the shape. Control Shift. Make a smaller copy. Choo, smaller. There we go. Close the group. Click. Control C. Control V. Stagger it out. Make sure the playhead's before the animation. Click the group. Click the shape. Hold. Control. Shift. And I'll zoom in, in a little bit here. Uh, click on it. Control shift. Bring it down some more. Okay. And let's do one more for giggles. See if this works. I'm just doing a quick test here. All right. Okay. Sweet. Let's do one more. <laughs> control C. Control V. Put this guy here. Shift it down. Open the group. Click the shape. Shift, control, and we'll put one more little circle in the middle. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's roll that beautiful bean footage and see what happens here. There we go. And what we'll see is that, you well, know, once it gets to the very end, all the circles are zoomed in to 130, right? So the net effect is we just did 130% scale, or a zoom, effectively, only we did it in a very cool and interesting way. Sweet! Nice, I like it. Okay, so let's ship it, as we used to say in the software industry. Let's uh, select all these. Let's right-click and let's group those. And now... What we should have are quick properties, right? Oh, uh, yeah, but I, I don't see any. What I want to do here is create a reusable component. Well, because we have, you know, so many of these pictures in one in each group, what we got to do is a little kind of massaging here. So I'm going to go to the quick properties tab after I've grouped everything together. And then we're going to go into the editor. Quick Properties Editor. Okay, and now let's add these images and then let's link them together by clicking here. Uh, 
Okay, and now we don't care about the ellipse here. Oh, you know what? Let's try to see if we can get rid of that in the quick properties. Yeah, let's get rid of that. There we go. <laughs> let's save that. Because uh, we don't care about changing the color of that shape, do we? Why? It's an alpha mat. It doesn't matter. All I wanted to do was make sure that all of these images inside the group are now nested together and linked right here. Okay. So let's do that. And now what I should be able to do, God willing and the crick don't rise, let's go grab a different image. Let's grab, oh, I don't know. Let's grab this one. It's a little different. Oh, let's grab this one. Drag it. Boop. Pop it right there. And let's see what happens. There we go. Kind of interesting, yeah? What do you guys think of that? Is that fun? But uh, that's just a little kind of a lesson in using media mats. I kind of like it. I think it's kind of fun.